Romila Thapar is a well-known historian, academic, and author from India. She has made substantial contributions to the history and culture of India. She arrived into the world on November 30, 1931, in the city of Lucknow, India. She has published a significant amount of work on the social, economic, and cultural elements of Indian society, and is generally recognized as a leading voice in the field of Indian history. The First Years of Life and Education Romila Thapar was born in Lucknow, India, to parents of Punjabi descent. Her mother was a writer as well as a social worker, and her father was a professor of English literature at a university. Because of her father's academic career, Thapar spent a significant portion of her youth living in a number of different locations located all throughout India. Queen Mary's College in Lahore is where Thapar received her diploma after completing her education. She continued her education at the University of Delhi's Miranda House, where she received both her bachelor's and master's degrees in history. In 1958, she graduated with a Doctor of Philosophy degree from the School of Oriental and African Studies SOAS, which is now part of the University of London. Her dissertation, which she wrote on the subject of the history of the Mauryan Empire, was turned into a book in 1961 and given the title, Ahsoka and the Decline of the Mauryas. Romila Thapar began her education in the School of Archival Studies in Delhi at the beginning of her academic career. Later in her career, she became a professor at a number of illustrious institutions in India and other countries. These universities include Kurukshetra University, Delhi University, Jawaharlal Nehru University, JNU, University of California, Berkeley, and University of Chicago. Thapar's research interests span a broad spectrum of subfields within the field of Indian history. These subfields include ancient Indian history, early medieval Indian history, as well as culture and society in early India. On each of these subjects, she has written a great number of books, essays, and studies. The Writings, A History of India, Ancient Indian Social History, Some Interpretations, The Past Before Us, Historical Traditions of Early North India, and Sakantala, Texts, Readings, Histories, are among her most well-known contributions. Thapar is known for being an outspoken opponent of right-wing Hindu nationalism and the way that it interprets Indian history. She has been quite vocal on the importance of freeing one's knowledge of Indian history from any nationalist or religious prejudices, as well as the necessity for a more critical and nuanced view of Indian history. She has also been a staunch supporter of academic freedom and has been active in a number of efforts in India to safeguard the independence of academic institutions. Because of the significant impact that she has had on Indian history and culture, Romila Thapar has been recognized and awarded on several occasions. Both the Padma Bhushan in 1983 and the Padma Vibhushan in 2008, India's two highest civilian accolades, were bestowed upon her during her lifetime. In addition to this, she is a fellow of both the American Academy of Arts and Sciences as well as the British Academy. Honorary degrees have been bestowed upon Thapar from a number of prestigious educational institutions all over the world, such as the University of Oxford, the University of Cambridge, and the University of Chicago. Romila Thapar is widely regarded as one of the most accomplished historians and intellectuals in India. Her work has been essential in forming our knowledge of Indian history and culture, and we are grateful for that. She has been a firm advocate of academic freedom and has been an outspoken opponent of attempts to rewrite Indian history to fit the objectives of nationalists or religious extremists.
As a result of the countless accolades and prizes she has received in recognition of her contributions to Indian history and culture, she is considered to be one of India's most respected academics.